everybody, this is Praxis. As you guys know, if you've been watching my channel for a bit, you know I've been doing the Project Homestead series. It's about building the new homestead that we've been uh, putting together for the past couple of years. And uh, one of the kind of the fictitious elements of the beginning of that series was that, you know, we were kind of acting as though there was a uh, global pandemic that was about to roll out and, you know, to add some urgency. And ironically, you know, we have a real global pandemic that's going across the planet right now. And it's causing hassles on our end. I mean, much worse hassles for other people so far. But, you know, you look at the issues in your own life and you tend to focus on those. And the hassles for us have just been, it's just been another slowdown. We've had so many slowdowns with the pro uh, process. Uh, you know, contractors not showing up incessantly, family members being ill, contractors getting gravely ill, flesh-eating bacteria, uh, brain cancer with somebody. Now, you know, global pandemic slowing things down as well as a number of other things. We've had so many pro uh, problems that have slowed us down. If any number, if any one or two of those had not happened, we'd already be in the homestead right now and we'd be in the ideal place, uh, you know, where we could best weather the actual pandemic that's going on. And that's frustrating to me. And, and the reason I bring it up is because I know a lot of you guys are in uh, maybe a similar boat where, you know, you've been into preparedness for a while, uh, but maybe you never went as fast as maybe you'd like to, or maybe preparedness is something brand new to you and, you know, you're just jumping into this emergency situation, you're thinking to yourself, ah, oh, you know, if only this, if only that, if only I had this asset or that asset, or if I'd better position myself. But whenever an emergency happens, it's almost never happening exactly at the best possible time that it could happen for you. You know, for myself, I'd love it if we were in our homestead right now. We're not. Uh, for other people, they, I'm sure they'd love it if they had more food supplies, more medical supplies, or whatever the case is. But again, whenever there's an emergency, it never happens at the perfect, most convenient time. And that's just the reality of things. And we all have to kind of, you know, work with that. Uh, you know, would it be great if you were in the perfect sort of setup, if you had everything available to you? Yeah, that'd be great. But the, the fact that you don't doesn't mean that there's any reason to, you know, just feel totally frustrated about the situation, throw in the towel, quit, say, well, you know, it's like, I'm not ready, so there's nothing I can do about it. You can always do things to make your situation better. And no matter how bad things are, I, I, I like to think, <laughs> I, I, I hate to say it that way, but I, I like to think about the fact that they could always get worse and, you know, to, to appreciate the things that you have. Nice warm sun on a not particularly warm day, but warm sun, access to water for us. Whatever your situation is, it could always get worse. Think about the assets that you do have. Don't fixate on whether you have enough toilet paper or whether you have enough food. Keep those things in your mind. Uh, you know, uh, work to try to solve those problems for yourself. But if things aren't perfect for you, and they almost never are, don't let that completely frustrate you and uh, detract from your energy, focusing on what's the best thing that I can do to improve my situation right now. Because Things are never perfect, even in normal times, things are never perfect. And you always have the opportunity, just to ask yourself, what's the best thing I can do for myself right now to give myself the best chance of X, Y, Z, or whatever you want to achieve? That was a good jump. Solving problems, getting shit done. <laughs> That's it. Good luck. Thanks for watching.